and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your news anchor Eli Adams. And I'm your news anchor Buddy Vance. On tonight's top story, the Bastille, a fortress turned prison that has been surrounded by local citizens seeking gunpowder. That's right, Eli. Those local citizens are upset with King Louis XVI because of the way he has treated them. And they fear that he is out to silence their demands and requests. With muskets in hand, they seek to free political prisoners within the Bastille as this symbolizes the king's oppression. Ah, yes, buddy, we are out here with the many revolutionaries waiting outside the Bastille. They have made their demands clear to Governor Delaney, but he hasn't budged. What was that? They're storming the Bastille. Got a blast, Vance. Back to you. Well, it looks pretty cold out there, DL. Hope you get better. Anyway, it appears we have some more breaking news. This just in. There's someone in my ear telling me that the Third Estate had planned on forming a national assembly. They found themselves locked out of their meeting hall in Versailles, and this apparently is an attempt by King Louis to prevent the formation of a constitution. Regardless, the people have begun to move to a nearby indoor tennis court. This shows that King Louis will not intimidate them. Together, they have begun to stand in solidarity, swearing an oath, showing Louis that they will not back down until they get their constitution. And for our next story tonight, the great fear French peasants are in a panic frenzy over recent grain shortages, believing that they themselves may have nothing left to eat. That's right, you're right. The peasants are, are blaming the aristocrats because the aristocrats have a plot to starve out the third estate by hiring bandits to steal their grains and burn down their crop fields. We now cut to our meteorologist, John Smith, with the brother. John? Thanks, buddy. For this week, you can expect it to be raining terror, folks. With Robespierre in charge of the Committee of Public Safety, enemies of the Revolution are in grave danger. Robespierre made sure that those suspected would either end up innocent or dead by law. Thousands are expected to suffer in the rain, either by execution or accusation. Back to you. Next up, after the break, why women are marching in Paris. King Louis and Marie need to be stopped. If they're not stopped soon, people will continue to throw stakes at Graham. I am King Louis and I do not approve this message. Alright, welcome back to the 6 o'clock news. Our next story tonight is why women are marching right up to the gates of Versailles. It's quite simple actually, buddy. Oh, really? It all starts with bread. These women are just trying to support their families, keeping them fed and healthy. When they learned of the scarcity of the bread and the exorbitant prices, they said, no longer. These women are heading straight for Louis, the baker, and Marie, the baker's wife. Welcome back to the news. I'm Buddy Vance. I'm here with uh, Nathan, a local citizen of Paris. Uh, so tell us about the Paris Commune. Well, Buddy, the Paris Commune was new and improved government in Paris. I think it's doing really well. Yeah, so how did, uh, how did it come about? Well, pretty much got established after the Bastille was uh, stormed a while back. Oh yeah, I remember covering that back when that happened. That was crazy. Uh, so do you think the Paris Commune will still be here about 10 years from now, maybe? Hopefully, yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, you heard it here, folks. The Paris Commune is doing well, and here's a citizen to prove it. Back to you in the studio. The Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen are written by Marquis de Lafayette in 1789, along with the help of Thomas Jefferson. Now we take a look back at some of the causes of the French Revolution. There was political conflict between the monarchy and the nobility. There was the Enlightenment, which caused even more political conflict. And Louis XVI, with the way he was ruling, uh, made matters worse. Hello, and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. <laughs> Nearby indoor tennis court. Together, they stand in solidarity. <laughs> Swearing that... <laughs> tennis. <laughs> you know, they wanted me to play tennis this year, but I was like, nah, fam, I'm good. Starter of Austria to counteract us. If we take a stand now, Louis and Marie will be as good as dead. 